Hi everyone, I'm Sherry Whitney, an 04 Master of Arts graduate at Georgetown. And professionally, I spend my time in corporate development. So having the opportunity to invest and acquire companies, mostly in the tech and services sector. Um, so really excited to introduce Elizabeth, the entrepreneur behind Equizar. Um, as Amy mentioned, this is really a company with a social impact mission. So Elizabeth has been striving to create more equity and access in the healthcare industry. Um, and the concept is really to repurpose medical equipment that hospitals have procured. And they typically discard of that prior to the end of those its useful life. And what she's trying to work through is how do you get that equipment into the hands of clinics that are located in disadvantaged areas that are having a tremendous shortage of such equipment. Um, so Elizabeth is really passionate about this opportunity. Um, interesting enough, she already has some professional experience in the healthcare industry and academically it's a space she's she's focused on. Um, and also just learn that she is a freshman at Georgetown. So really impressed with her drive and intellect um, as she's come up with this concept and working on it. I think what you're gonna hear today um, is that there's a lot of work to still still to do to bring this concept to fruition. And Elizabeth has been doing a lot of market research on how to bring this business to, you know, and test its viability. So that I think is what you're mostly going to hear about. Um, Elizabeth, I'm going to turn it over to you. Neil and I have really enjoyed partnering with you. Excited to see what you do next with Equizar and happy to always be there to help support you. Thank you so much for the introduction, Sherry, and thank you to both of you, Neil and Sherry, for all of the wonderful advice that you've given me throughout these weeks. None of this would have been possible without you both. Um, and so my company is called Equizar, but before we talk about Equizar, first I have to talk about someone very near and dear to my heart who helped me make this possible, and that is my dad. Um, I'm a pre-med student here at Georgetown studying biology. And I was heavily inspired by my dad. He taught me how much I love not just patient care, but taking care of people as humans and finding the humanity in that. And one day during the middle of the COVID pandemic, he told me that the hospital he worked at was going to throw away a PCR machine. And I was like, wait a minute, let, let's, let's go back a little bit. How is it possible that in the middle of a pandemic, something as crucial to preventative care as a PCR machine it's just gonna go straight into the trash. And so I did some more research and I found that $765 billion worth of usable medical equipment is wasted each year. So we know there's this huge waste problem, but then on the other hand, there are 3,438 designated medically underserved areas across the US. So all over the states in the, in the US, there are people in need of this equipment. Thus, Equizar seeks to bridge this gap. We propose to broker used medical equipment between profitable hospitals and under-resourced clinics, like the ones in Ward 7 and 8 here in DC, in order to prevent waste and save lives. At first, I worked with Georgetown Ventures, one of the members who is watching me here today. Thanks, Stephen. Um, and I did some initial customer discovery interviews my hypothesis was that hospitals would want to partner with Equizar because it's a great way for them to add value to equipment they've already spent their money on, as well as improve their, their sustainability initiatives. Meanwhile, clinics want this opportunity to be able to easily improve the quality of their care by finding cheaper and high-tech healthcare equipment. So through SLI, I sought to validate this hypothesis I did a lot of different primary and secondary research, which I'll continue to explain now. And that's actually a picture of me marching up to the MedStar Hospital to try and interview as many people as I could. First, I looked at the market landscape. So trying to understand how a piece of equipment moves throughout the healthcare space and what my potential competitors would look like. Once a piece of equipment goes from the manufacturer and to the hospital, there are two pathways for it to go to. One, like the PCR machine that my dad was talking about, straight into the landfill, becomes a piece of junk, it's scrapped, and at best, thrown away. On the other hand, there are some programs, markets, and non-for-profits in place, but these don't always catch big pieces of equipment that could be reused, 
And many of them are not truly satisfying the clinics in the way that they need based on the interviews I've had. So we know that Equidar has a unique value proposition here. Next is the customer demand. So we know that there's a need, but what exactly is that need? I reached out to over 100 different hospitals, clinics, and non-for-profits or people that work in those spaces. And I found that most of these hospitals are discarding their equipment because they don't have time to go through the process of trying to find a company to sell through or find all these different aspects and options. It's a very long, tedious process. So Equizar hopes to make it quick, easy, and simple. On the other hand of the clinics, there's a large variety of equipment that they need. An ambulatory center is not the same as a kidney dialysis clinic. So trying to figure out how to match supply and demand is something very complex that I've been working on through SLI. Through these customer interviews, I found that some of the hottest items have been CPAP machines, kidney dialysis chairs, exam tables, and IV poles. So now that we know some of these key pieces of equipment, it was then a matter of putting it into a value chain, understanding how these pieces of equipment depreciate and whether or not they should be refurbished or repaired. This is an ongoing process of research for me, but I spoke to some military mechanics and they walked me through how do we value a piece of equipment? Um, and this varies greatly by equipment. And I found that specifically for refurbishment at this time, it doesn't seem that Equilar should focus on it because it's highly regulated. There are many guidelines and it doesn't provide as much value relatively right now. And lastly, I know this sounds like a lot of information. It was definitely very overwhelming for me at first. So working on the business concept validation, identifying that product market fit, honing in my very broad understanding and making sure that I focus on the need for this product. We know that one of the largest reasons for startup failure is not understanding the market. And so I've made sure through SLI and onwards to really hone in on that market um, to identify that demand, even if it's really difficult. Sometimes you have to just show up in person um, and that's what I did. So moving forward after SLI, I want to continue testing this hypothesis and really solidifying that market, um, not just knowing what equipment is wanted, but specifically which pieces of equipment will get me that partnership with a hospital and a clinic, figuring out how to logistically transfer that piece and sell it in a way that makes sense, not just for Equizar, but also for our clients who need that kind of accessibility. And then just checking to make sure that it's all legally feasible so that I can pilot this by 2024. Thank you all for listening. I hope to make the healthcare space more equitable through Equizar. If you have any thoughts or questions or ideas, please contact me at my phone number or email.